Okay, let's look at some C++ programming basics. On this page, you will learn how to write your first program. And there's a format to creating a C++ program. This is a basic program right here. And everything is purposeful. Everything is required in this program. And it has to look just like this. And that's a hard part about learning to code is being so exact but just know that after a while it will be um, you really won't even have to think about but on the first line you are always going to have this line right here and it's a pound sign include space and then these angle brackets and an io stream and all this does is set up your program to use input and output so remember all programs have input they process that input and then they give output, that IPO model. And there are different commands that you can use in your program to do that input processing and output. You'll read through the directions and the, the comments to learn what all of these statements mean. There are some checks for understanding, and then you get to write your own first program. And so this interactive box right here, you just click Run and it has an output of um, salary is 41600. So you'll walk through and you can see that this is a variable. It's declared and it will hold integer values. And then we are going to put the number 20 in that variable. And then the C out means to print things out to the screen. So I'm going to print out a little message, salary is, and then I'm gonna do a calculation, right? And print that out. So that's where this number is right here. It, it calculates the 20 times the 40 times the 52 and it prints that out to the screen. This program doesn't have any input from the user, right? It just has a calculation and an output. If we want input, we use this command called cn, and then we can ask the user to type in something from the keyboard. And then we can do that over here. And in the Zybooks interactive environment, you have to put your input in the box before you run your program. So this will ask the user to enter their dog ears, and I can put, um, let's just put one there. And then if I run this, dog years is 1, and so when it calculated human years, it did 7 times 1, and then it printed out what was stored in dog years, which is 1, and then it prints out this string of characters, dog years is about, and then it prints out the human years, which we calculated to be 7 times dog years, which was 7, so it prints out the 7, and then the human years, and then the this means in the line. So what that does is it just goes to the next line in your output. So this program has input, right, dog years. It has processing. It calculates the human years, and then it has output. So if I change this to two, two dog years is about 14 human years. So that's the calculation and the input and the output. And then it tells you a little bit about what string literals are. Then it goes into detail about printing out the contents of a variable. So just read through this page and really get the basics of the input, the processing, and the output. It takes a lot of practice, but just with practice, it'll start becoming more familiar, just like anything else you do. At the end, it'll tell you how to do new lines. What a new line is, if I print, let's go up here, and I run this program. It prints out the 18, right, and then the period, and then it does a new line so it goes to the end here. Well, I can issue that command, end line, that's not the number one, it's an end and then an L. Or, inside of a string literal, I can put a backslash n, like that, and then look at my output when I change it. It says, in 2014, the driving age is, and then it went to the new line, right? Because after it prints out IS, this says go to the next line, and then print out a space, 
there's a space right there, so that's why there's the space right there. And then print out what's stored in driving age, which was 18. Then print a period, and then print another new line. The only way to really figure this out is just to jump in there and start changing the code and um, see what happens, right? Make predictions, make some changes, test to see if your predictions are correct.